Well, good morning. This is Plant Smart Living with Farmer Fred. Really glad you could join Bailey and I today out here in the vegetable garden. It's a beautiful day here in Pennsylvania, early July, and it's a low humidity day. You know, those great kind of days to be working out in your garden. Well, today I wanted to harvest some of my Ford Hook Swiss chard plants. And so thanks for joining Bailey and I today out here in the vegetable garden. And so, you know, as a gardener, if you're a gardener yourself, it's always fun when it's harvest time, you know, when these plants start to grow up enough that you can start picking the leafy greens from them or even some of your tomatoes when they start to ripen or your cucumbers, your zucchini, you know what I'm talking about. But anyhow, I had direct sowed these Ford Hook Swiss chard giant seeds out in the garden in April. And so, you know, they've really grown really nice for the last couple months. And this is the seed pack that I had purchased when I direct sowed those out in the garden. And so these Ford Hook giant plants are interesting. You know, I also did grow some of your bright light Swiss chards. And so, but these stalks seem to be a little bit sturdier. You know, the plants seem to be more upright. The bright light Swiss chard, although the leaves are nice and the stalks are a beautiful color, they seem to flop over a little bit more there. I don't know why, but maybe that's just the type they are. But so anyhow, I have my Weiss Longerberger basket that I use. I like to use when I go to harvest some of my greens or my tomatoes and all my, my vegetables. So anyhow, let's start harvesting some of these beautiful Swiss chard plants. And they're right here alongside the arbor. How are you doing there, Billy? And so these Ford Hook Giant Swiss chard plants are right here. And you can see that I direct sowed these out in the garden April 8th. And so they've really come along really nice here. I like keeping them here on the end of the garden. They're nice and easy and convenient to come and, you know, pick the leaves off your plants. And I remember growing one of these plants under my low tunnel hoop house last year under one of my row covers. And the, the leaf actually was 24 inches long and from the bottom of the stalk to the top of, of the leaf it was 42 inches long. But you can see how beautiful looking these leaves are. And what's nice about these Swiss chard is that the aphids and the cabbage worm don't seem to bother these leaves. But you know, for, for under two dollars, look at all the food that you can grow. You can grow enough for your family all season long. And so let's start harvesting some of these beautiful Swiss chard leaves. Now these leafy greens, you know, the Swiss chard, are pick and come again. That means you, as you continually pick the outer stalk of your plant, they'll just keep on producing all season long. And that's the way it is for your, like your curly leaf kale, or your red Russian kale, or your dinosaur kale, most of your leafy greens. Uh, and so that's, you know, that's really something that's excellent, you know, because you can, again, continue to harvest these these leaves and from these plants all season long. So if you had, you know, maybe half a dozen or a dozen of these leafy greens, you could supply your family all season long for for under two dollars. You know, that's about what that pack of seeds cost me. Now think about it if you go to the supermarket and buy one bundle of green greens, they're like three dollars and yet you can spend, you know, two dollars for a pack of seeds and, uh, you know, have greens all summer long. And so you just want to be able to continually harvest the outer leaves from these plants. And I also, it's good to harvest some of the, the, the larger leaves too. It allows more air and, and uh, to circulate around the plant. But you know, that's a, that's a beautiful leaf right there from that Swiss chard plant. And the, like I said earlier, the, the uh, bugs really don't seem to bother this too much. And so let's just pick a few more of these, these leaves here. 
put a few in the basket here. Let me get some out in the back here. And so we're gonna I'm gonna harvest a few more of these. And so don't forget too that these stalks, you know, they're really edible and tasty. You know, I typically steam my Swiss chard and you know, even these stalks, you can steam them. You may have to steam them a little bit longer, but uh, we love just steaming our Swiss chard. You can also use these in your smoothies, but you know, I have a nice harvest here of Swiss chard. And, and so let me encourage you to think about growing Ford Hook Swiss chard giant in your vegetable garden. It's really something easy to direct sow. And you know, before you know it, these things are up and growing and mature. You know, a couple months go by pretty quickly. And so anyhow, let me know if you have any questions or comments about this video. And you know, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so, so you could receive future videos. And you could also visit us at our website at plantsmartliving.com. And so I just want to thank you for joining me today out here harvesting our Swiss chard giant. So I hope you have a wonderful day. Until next time, this is Plant Smart Living with Farmer Fred.